Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. This video is about the basics of Premiere Pro. I did a poll to see if you guys wanted to see this and over half of you guys said yes. So if you didn't want to see this, I apologize. It's just one video, so it's not a huge deal. But um, yeah, so I'm still gonna be doing photo P videos, but this one's gonna show you the basics of Premiere Pro and all that. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so once you open up Premiere Pro, you're gonna see a menu that looks like this. You're just gonna wanna go up to a new project. You're mainly gonna wanna mess with these two settings right here, the name and location. So just name it whatever you want. I'll just name it test. And the location, hit browse over here to change the location of this um, video whenever it's done exporting it. That's where it's gonna go and that's where all the audio file previews and auto saves and all that stuff are gonna go. So just select folder once you have the location and now once it's done it'll go to d drive videos and i just leave everything else down here the same and hit ok now it's going to take a second but once you're in it'll look like this it might look a little bit different but the only difference will be that these are in different areas so it's not a huge deal because you still have all of them but they're just in different locations so the first thing i'm going to tell you is how to expand these certain menus and you just want to hover over the line and you'll see a little icon pop up if you hold left click and drag you can make it smaller and bigger so you can really do that with every single window on here so this is where your video is going to be so i want to make that bigger so i can see the video more move the timeline down a little bit and I don't really need effects that much, so let me just move that over. So you can really adjust all this to your liking. And up here is where all of your little windows are going to be. So you got effects, which are right here. Audio. Graphics. It'll change your workspace to uh, whatever you click on. So you got all these different options that you can go through. And yeah, so we're going to work on effects, though. Seems to work the best for me. So let's talk about this workspace. The bottom left is where you're going to import all of your media. So your videos, your pictures, all that. Or you can just drag it onto your timeline and then it'll go there anyway. So it's up to you if you want to put it on your timeline or put it in there and then drag it in here. Media browser is where you can go through all of your drives and find different things that you want to bring into here. The timeline is where you're going to be doing all of your editing. You're going to put text or cuts effects everything is going to be done right here and over here is all the tools you'll need to do that so you got um i i only use um the move tool or selection tool razor tool and text tool so i'm just going to go over the basics that you'll need to know so the selection tool this is what you use to move things around and all that you use the blade tool to add cuts into your videos and you use the text tool to put text on your video now the rest i'm not too sure because i don't use them Right here is the audio, so you'll see the levels go up when the audio is playing, and you wanna keep it around negative 12, that's what I do anyways. And if it gets to zero, it'll be red, and that means it's clipping, so you wanna be careful about that. It's a great way to see if your audio is too loud or too quiet. Over here is the effects, so you can search up any effects, your presets will go here. So I have all my presets here, and yeah. These presets just make your video look like cinematic and all that. It changes the way your video looks. Audio effects, pretty self-explanatory, and the rest are all self-explanatory. That's where all your effects are going to be. Essential graphics, this is where you can import your own presets for like text and stuff like that. So you can scroll through it and you can see a bunch of different presets like titles or like different little things you might want in your video. All right, so that's everything over here that I worry about. And now we're ready to get started. So I'm going to drag in this video that I just recorded and we're gonna start editing it. Okay, so find wherever your video is located. So right here, this is my video file. You're just gonna to wanna to drag that onto your timeline or your um, media area over here. And it will import and extend all the way across your timeline. So you can see it's loaded in. The top one is video. These little like lines going up and down, that's your audio. And I record two tracks of audio so that is why there is two of those so let's say you want to mute a clip or solo out a clip that you're trying to edit you can go over here to the bottom left of the timeline and click mute track so if you click mute track it'll mute this entire track right here so you can hear only the music but if you click solo it'll make it to where that's all you hear 
so it'll mute every other track and solo this one. And this eyeball will hide the video temporarily. And let's say you want to disconnect these so you don't edit the whole thing. If you right click on it, selected, click unlink and it'll make each one of these individual. So I can delete this bottom track since I didn't have any audio on it. And I can even delete the video and just leave the audio. So if you wanted to put like some B-roll over this, you can and you don't have to worry about this video. That's how you can do that. Now, if you want to connect it back together, just highlight it by dragging with your left click or your left mouse button and right click on it and click link again. So now the edits will apply to both of these. So you can see if I get my razor tool, it'll cut both of them at the same time versus one at a time. So that is how you do that. And now I'm going to show you the basics of the editing. So I got my intro right here. Let me like cut it up a bit. So you can see there, I'm like, what's going on guys? And say you mess up, right? So I just left a little pause, like, see like that. So say you mess up right there. That's easy. You just want to either use your razor tool to make a cut here, or you can just hold left click on the end of this video and drag it all the way into your next restart. So yeah, let me get that a little bit more. So now, there's a little gap in the start now. So if you want to use this little scroll thing to zoom, hold left click on the circle and drag left. You can zoom in. I'm going to drag this all the way to the start of the audio because that's when I start talking. So let's say I want to add the picture of the pole right here. I'll show you guys how to do that right now. So I'm going to go take a screenshot of that pole and I'll come back. All right. So I'm at my YouTube poll and now if I do the snipping tool, which is on Windows computers, I can easily snip this like that. And um, I don't know if it's the same. I don't think snipping tools on other computers, you might have to download that. So I'm just gonna save this capture like to my desktop. So now I can just exit out of this. If you go back to Premiere Pro, let me first get it off my desktop. So let me drag the picture onto my timeline above the video. So that's what you're going to want to do. And also once your picture that you drag in is in your timeline, you don't want to move it from its original location, like the desktop, because it will make it like air out. So you just want to leave every file that's in your timeline, just leave it where it is. And um, yeah, so now it's on my timeline above the video. So you can see here. And you might notice it's kind of bad quality when I hit play. That's because the way I'm viewing it is so it's faster, but it'll look crappier. So if you click this little drop down arrow, you can click full and it'll give you like full resolution. So you can see that little technique, but it might take a while to load the video, which is annoying when you're editing. So I just go with like half or a fourth because I don't really need quality. I just need to edit. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to blur the background while this pole is up. So let me get my razor tool, left click right here and right here. And it should snap because this is the start of this point. It'll snap to here and this is the end. So it'll snap, select all this bottom part. Now what I want to do is I want to go to my effects, type in camera blur. And I can blur this by dragging it onto the video, as you can see there. And over here on the left, this is where all your effects are going to be. So I have so many right here. This is just for the audio. So you can hide those a little bit. And up here, position scale. So if you want to zoom in, you just hold left click on here and drag it. Here, I got the blur. Let me take the blur off so I can show you guys even better. Move that over here for now. So there's different ways you can approach this. You can either just hold left click on these little sliders and drag, or you can type in specific numbers. So 500 by 500 by 100 or 500. It's like really up to you the way you want to do it. And uh, sometimes when you want to be more precise, you got to type in the exact number like 960, 540 and 100. That's the basic full screen uh, dimensions. So let's say you want to do a little zoom. There's two types of zooms you can do. There's probably more, but I'm going to show you two types of zooms that you can do. So go to the point where you want to start the zoom. 
go over here to position and scale and click these little stopwatches. That'll start a point. And then once we move the timeline or move this little, uh, I don't know what it's called, move the uh, stick thing <laughs> to where you want it to be completely zoomed in. And then change the scale position and all that. So say I want to zoom right in on this little uh, thing that I'm going to describe. So like this. So now you can see up here as it plays, it'll start full screen and then it'll start zooming in. And you can make that zoom slower by dragging the last two out further. So you can see that there. It's a slow zoom. And that's easier on the eyes compared to just straight up cuts. And I'll show you how to do cuts as well. Basically just make a cut where you want it to be zoomed in at. So right here and right here. I want it to be zoomed in that whole time. An instant zoom. Just get rid of these keyframes. And just adjust all these the way you want. So now you'll see. It'll stay zoomed in just for that period of time that I select. So yeah, that's pretty handy. Those are the ways you can zoom in. So for another example, let's just start zooming this um, picture in slowly. So go to the very start of it. Check the position and scale. Go to the very end by just holding left click and dragging and make the scale like a little bit bigger. So now the whole time it's up, it'll be zooming in. See, that's how you do that pretty easy now another thing you can do is if you have your selection tool selected you can hold left click on your video file and drag it up and same with the audio and you can move stuff in between it if you want so it sounds pretty insane but say you wanted to have music down here audio here and then you have the video of like your desktop and you don't want that and then you wanted to put like b-roll or like a picture here you could do that so you can like do layering kind of like in photoshop and photo p like how you have your layers and if you wanted to be on top put it on the very top that's just like kind of the same process and yeah that's how you do that now let's say you want to take a screenshot for a thumbnail while you're editing pretty easy let me find a spot for a screenshot you know what, let's just say this. So what you're gonna wanna do is go to, down here to your camera. It's called export frame. Make sure the format is PNG or any of the others that you want. I recommend PNG if you just want a picture. Now the path is where it's going to say that. So change that by clicking browse and go into your desktop or wherever you want it to be. Hit okay and it'll export there and you can find that whenever you go there. So let's say you want to make these um, video and audio files a little bit bigger. You can use these little sliders over here to do that. So if I hold left click and drag it down, you'll see that it makes it bigger. And if I drag it up, it makes it smaller. Same with the video. Spacebar starts the video or you can click this to play the video. I hit spacebar to pause it and start it. Now let's say you want to mark a certain area for later or something. Go to that area and click on this button. Add marker. It'll add a little green marker there so you can see that. Have it for later or whatever you want. That's a pretty handy one I use occasionally. So now let's say you want to speed up or slow down your clip. I'll show you how to do that right now. So just cut the section that you want to speed up or slow down. So like get your blade tool. I want to cut here and cut here. So now this is a separate section. Now right click on it. Go to speed and duration right here. And if you turn the speed percentage up, it'll go fast. If you turn it down, it'll be slow. So let's go 500% and it'll go faster. Hit okay. So now you can see this track is a lot faster. And if you just make it below 100%, it'll be slower. So now let's say you wanna make a part of your video quieter or louder. I'm gonna show you how to do that. So go to your clip that you wanna make louder or quieter and make sure it's separated from the other clips if you don't want them to be louder or quieter as well if you just want it, just this clip to be uh, quieter or louder just cut this part to where it's a separate uh, section so now if you go over here to the left and the control panel or wherever yours is there should be an audio one section go to level uncheck the stopwatch and type in whatever number you want so 
Everything above zero is gonna make it louder. Everything below zero is gonna make it quieter. So negative 10 will make it quieter. 10 will make it louder. And now let's say if you wanna make it progressively get louder, go to the beginning of your clip. Now check the stopwatch, type in like negative 40 and then move ahead a bit and then make it like zero or something. And it'll go from negative 40 decibels to zero, which will make it louder over time. So it starts out quiet and gets louder over time. So that's how you would do that. Now I'm gonna show you how you can fade in and fade out a video. So go to the start of your video, go to opacity in the control section, type in zero, move ahead a bit and then type in 100. This will make you go from zero opacity to 100. So you can see it gets brighter and you can reverse that to make it fade out so say you want to add music to your video just find that music file so i got it right here i got pirates of the caribbean lo-fi beat two of them so drag that beat right below your video and you can hear it and you can use the audio um you can turn the audio down and up with the way i showed you earlier now let's say you want to add some text Go down to your text tool on the bottom left, click on the T. Now you can left click anywhere on your video and type in something. So we got Canbit. You can move it with this selection tool. Hold control if you want to center it or align it with something. It'll bring up lines to make it more precise. And you can drag the corners to make it bigger. So we got Canbit. Now if you double click on it, It'll select all of it. You can go over here on your left to the text drop down menu. And here you can change everything about the text. So let's change the font to lemon milk. Well, let's add a stroke to it by checking this box and changing the stroke to black and change the number, turn it up so you can actually see the stroke. So you can see there we got the text and it'll pop up right here. Now say I want it to go away right now, just drag that clip or cut it to where it's shorter. So there you go. Now you know all the basics like that you'll really need to know, like the complete basics. So you should be able to get started now. I'm going to show you how to save it and export it. So go up to file, export, media, or just hit control M. It will open up a window like this. It looks very confusing, but trust me, it's not with the way I do it. So format should be H.264. The preset, what I always do is I click on preset and I scroll down to YouTube and you can either do YouTube 480, 720, 1080. These numbers are how good quality the resolution is. So that's going to be the best quality, but also the biggest file and the longest render time. I always go with 1080 because it's a good balance. And now all the settings will change to fit YouTube 1080p. Now all you want to do is just click export. And you can see here, this is how long it's going to take until it is done rendering. And then once it's done rendering, it'll be a video format that you can upload to YouTube. And then that's all you got to do. So I hope this wasn't too confusing for you guys. I hope it helped you and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like and subscribe. If you like scary games, check out my scary game channel down in the description below. I'm starting to upload on there a lot more. I'm trying to get it big like this one. And um, yeah, that's all I got for you guys today. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.